So I've pushed on, <clears throat> I've got the decals on. Um, I'm not going to lie, they were difficult. They were really thick. I ended up, I had to use, oh, I don't know, I probably did five or six coats of Microsoft. But, um, they're just so thick and they didn't want to go down. And the Randalls, when the uh, coat of Microsoft was dry, I got a, the knife and I ran it through the panel lines to help them get down. Uh, and we got the dragon and the markings on the side. I'm going to give it a uh, coat of clear again before I give it a wash. The one I removed the masks from painting, it all was uh, all right. Didn't have to touch anything up, so that was a bonus. All right, I've given the decals a gloss coat. Before I weather it, I'm gonna do a bit of chipping. Uh, not a lot, just a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna spray in some exhaust stains, uh, gun stains. So chipping, usually I just use, if you get, if you buy Eddard Brassen parts, you normally get this uh, foam. It's packed in that, I'll just break little pieces off. And we are just using natural steel, which is uh, AK's third gen series. But it doesn't have to be that, whatever you like. I dip it and then I just get the excess off. Same, similar to dry brushing. And then I just gently work it on. So that shows up. So I'll do a bit around the entrance to the engine cowl. I'll do a bit on the walkways uh, and leading edges of the wings, but I'm not I'm not overdoing it. Just a little bit. It's just for a bit of an, uh, an effect. And then I'll spray in, airbrush in those exhaust and gun stains. All right, sprayed in stains, cordite staining for the guns. Uh, where the shell shells eject from the wing underside. Uh, that's just a mix of uh, smoke, Tammy smoke, and just a little touch of black. And then I added buff into that, what was left to spray exhaust stains. <clears throat> Remember, an aircraft like this, the landing gear comes in where the exhaust goes, so I blocked out with some uh, white tack, sprayed across the exhaust, but also across here because that's the area that is sitting where that exhaust goes when the wheels are up. And I did the chipping as well, <clears throat> just a bit on the uh, leading edges, a bit around the canopy where it slides back and the walkways and the uh, propeller blades which I painted up when I painted the aircraft uh, so now I'm just going to do just keeping it simple it's time for a wash I'm going to use flooring models dark dirt wash it's a clay wash it's simple as shaking it up and just rubbing it on And so on and so forth. Uh, when it dries, just wipe it back with paper towel and cotton buds in hard to reach areas. Alright, wash is dried. Wiping it back is this piece of paper towel. I moisten it just in my mouth a bit. 
Uh, it's clay wash, so you're not going to die. There you can just rub it back. To how far you want to go with it. Um, hard to get places. Uh, cotton buds. Just like that. So that's just how you wipe out the wash. Alright, <coughs> wash is all knocked back. Uh, same as the parts. So now it's putting it all together. I have to put on the antenna mast, wing pito, and just paint in the nav lights and the tail light and remove the mask and it's all done. I also did a uh, wash in the engine with um, AK engine wash, I just brushed it around just to dirty it up. And there you have it all done. <clears throat> I just used uh, Easy Line for the antenna wire, and you just glue it with uh, CA glue. So overall, not a bad kit considering the age. 1974. That's ooh, well, I was three years old when this kit came out. Uh, had a few little niggles, but considering what the year. I'm sure there's a lot worse. Would I recommend it? Yes, I'd recommend it if you're a beginner and you want to try honing some skills. It's a cheap kit to start with and it builds up to a nice aircraft. Obviously, if you're into Buffalo, it's a good kit. Or if you're into nostalgia and you want to build a vintage kit, why not? So, not a bad kit to break in the new year with. I'll take a few uh, still photos and put on the end of this. Thank you for watching.